you were absent you were present on that day what i was doing union parliament we have completed acha so for today's day write that heading i have already started this chapter it not started check in your notebook ठीक ठीक देन फॉर टुडे दे राइट द हेडिंग वी आर मीटिंग आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग ब्रेक आई थिंक करेक्ट लास्ट वीक यू हैड माय लेक्चर हां इट वाज कैंसल्ड व्हाई व्हाई हु केम एंड हु डिड नॉट कम इन यू आर द ओनली पर्सन एंड इट्स ओके हां एजुकेशन मैन So let us understand this. So if I say the two broad thing that you have to explain is this only: causes and consequences. But if I say causes itself is having lot and lot of subheadings, are you understanding? Uh, first, write the headings, details. First, you write down the heading causes of the revolt, and then we'll be picking up one by one. So we have to take like this A, then maybe B, then we'll be going to C, D, etc. So A has first one. Am I saying religious causes? Yes. Religious is it? Okay. No, no. Leave that. Okay, so write down like me what I'm writing: political causes. And what is the B heading? Religious. When? So for today's day, write this heading straight away. Three after three lines. You keep writing the heading, then it is okay. Next is socio-religious causes. Socio-religious causes. Then I think political causes. Okay. Who else is absent? Economic background, political. Sorry, who is absent? Then that girl. Yes. What's her name? Economic causes. Then we have military causes. Correct. And the last one is the immediate cause. Correct. immediate cause is most important man oh in fact in every class i have started with this first political social religious economic and political immediate nahi hai mujhe dekho 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 okay this sir oh after the report of 1857 ka essence hai par tum bolo wahi nahi hai okay did you write first write down the heading When you open up this entire chapter, it will say only one thing. What is that one thing? That this revolt had created a huge impact on which administration? British administration. Why? 
for the first time in indian history a revolt of such a kind has happened why because britishers did not have any clue ki that indians might throw such a big challenge to them what was the challenge whatever arms and ammunition britishers gave them whatever military training the britishers gave them it was used against whom against the british it's like whatever i'm training you to guys one day you come and test me the same thing over me i'll feel what a dreadful day it was but then indians had their own reasons or we can say causes so under political causes i will be discussing something like subsidiary alliance something like doctrine of lapse alleged misrule so and so first of all you know how to dis distinguish what is political economic political matlab kya rahega all such causes which deals with the government all such causes which deals with the uh, the government machinery if i say religious social religious causes like banning of sati you remember banning of sati widow remarriage act not allowing the in, uh, in fact forcing the indians to fight against the crossing the seas then divide and rule policy is it social religious yes and if you say economic what are economic causes where the british are plundering the resources of india how bringing their cloth free Tax. into india our cloth going to london high ta uh, high taxes then discouraging the artisans craftsmen hai na so any causes which are related to the money or economy is put under economic can anybody tell me what are military causes what are military causes those causes in which the indian army men working for which government british or indian government british. they were not given any treatment equally payment was less correct and no promotions and they were forced to send across the border which uh, border water borders and the most and the important incident was this any idea what was that this time british has introduced a rifle what was that rifle called this enfield rifle and the cover of the bullet was covered with the fats of cows and pigs cow sacred to hindus and pigs a taboo to the muslims but some people said it was rumor but some people say if it was a rumor british government should come forward and explain to the people then don't worry aisa kuch tha nahi but british government aisa nahi kiya so it was mangal pande who shot that his commanding officer and what was the punishment given by british administration they have given him the hang sentence a sentence of the hang punishment and you remember hang punishment inside the jail or inside one corner of the jail it is okay what did the british do they given the hang punishment in front of the soldiers in front of the people so don't you think that your own friend is hanged in front of you will you keep quiet so that was like a lighter you know what in by lighter igniter so the big fire was created all because of one person called mangal pandey so i started with which causes political causes socio religious causes economic causes military causes and the most important immediate causes samajh mein aaya at least you got a broad idea what is this entire chapter so once we finish with the causes we'll be starting with the next heading called consequences shall we finish up causes and then discuss consequences so you want me to give one one causes each so now you take up that immediate cause in the volume i will explain that and you will get all the points from there and keep your pencils ready and mark the points for the answer are you understanding it's on which page number page number 9 so i'll ask him to read Okay, uh, come on. Yeah. In 1856, the government decided to replace the old-fashioned musket brown vest by the Enfield rifle. The loading process of the Enfield rifle in, involved bring, bringing a cartridge. I'm bringing, bringing, bringing. मतलब उसका cover. 
draining the cartridge to the mouth and writing on the top of these paper with the teeth. In January 1857, a rumor spread in the Bengal residence that uh, the grease cartridge contained the fat of pig or cow. The pig is for forbidden to Muslims and the cow is sacred to Hindus. So the sepoys were now complaining that the introduction of grease cartridges was a deliberate move to define Hindu and Muslim. This is not defined. Define. Next. Is part of the meeting. By who? Uske aage likho. By Mangal Pandey. I will also write his name. His name is what? Mangal Pandey. So what did he do? Shot them. His commanding officer. There was a place at Barakpur Regiment. Here in Notebook Maliko, Barakpur Regiment. Full stop. Mangal Pandey shot at the his commanding officer at Barakpur Regiment. But last week our lecture was not in the same time, na? it was in the afternoon, 2.30 time. Same time. Okay, good stuff. Now check this heading where you want me to add any points, immediate cause. Did you understand? Yes. Shall I give it in simple points? Ah, write down. You have already written immediate cause. You see, can each other, right? Very good. Write down. The other notes will be doing it through the volume, but this notes you must write. There will be a separate question. Explain the role of Mangal Pandey or what is the immediate cause of the revolt? During this time, company introduced, East India Company introduced during this time, East India Company introduced a new rifle. What is the name of that? Uh, bracket. Keep your volume or textbook ready with you. Inside the bracket, you write and field. Second point, the next point. The cover of this bullet, the cover of the bullet was smeared, smeared. I use this line on the uh, was covered with the was made with the fats of cows and pigs. It's made with the fats of cows and pigs. Full stop. Next point. Soldiers, soldiers need to. Soldiers need to. Bite using their teeth before music. Full stop. As cows were sacred, as cows were sacred to Hindu soldiers. And pigs were a religious taboo. But how do you use the word taboo? It is. And pigs were religious taboo. This is the word taboo.
comma infuriated in infuriated both hindu and muslim soldiers then you have already written this statement correct mangal pande uh, you make a small arrow mark somewhere down now this point has to be joining there don't rewrite it are you understanding and exam you write exactly upar likh arrow mark mat karna that's common sense then the next point he was given the death sentence he was given the death sentence in front of the indian army men in front of his own indian army men yeah. army men chenda para this sparked off the most famous part of 1857 the most famous part of o w f s p a r k e d s p a part of part of kesal ke liye s a spark spark what is spark have you seen a lighter yes before you the kya karta ha wohi to hai hmm what did i say what did i say then he is listening carefully and he is writing also Spark talk. In fact, when he was reading, check check in the volume. Just spark. K E D. I don't know. Your understanding and my pronunciation doesn't match, man. Did you make it any mistake, man? Hey, no, na. Ah, his concentration is there. Ah, think it's okay. Spark talk. The most famous revolt of 1857. Full stop. Now read this and read what it is there in the volume and tell me. Where you find more comfortable in learning? we'll be just discussing this and either i'll make some important points to write here correct and then the rest will be as an assignment now what you have to remember how these are an important cause to the report so when you look at this first one political causes so the first and the most important word is what it is what policy of expansion in fact if i put it on the board british has used two policy anybody one is sa what is sa stands for subsidiary alliance other one doctrine, doctrine of lapse now if i want to explain both this one thing is for sure that british has used these policies and without fighting a war am i correct they annexed the provinces annexed the provinces <coughs> very simple to tell you the word subsidiary alliance introduced by check check it is all there either in the textbook or in the volume introduced by whom lord wellesley okay many people 
हाँ लुक एंड दैट पिक्चर इज देयर दिस इज लॉर्ड वेलेस्ले हाँ तो इधर ऊपर लिखो ऐसे लिखो और इधर लिखो डॉक्टर ऑफ लव्स अच्छा ठीक है तेरे को सोचो ना एटलिस्ट पिक्चर के ऊपर छोटा सा लिखेगा तो यू नेवर फॉरगेट इज दैट ना हाउ डू आई एक्सप्लेन दिस डॉक्टर ऑफ सब्सिडरी अलाइंस ना आई एम अ रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ द ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी एंड यू आर टू नेटिव किंग्स ही इज वेरी मच अफ्रेड ऑफ द एनिमी हु इज गोइंग टू अटैक ही इज नॉट आस्किंग प्रोटेक्शन फ्रॉम मी बट आई एम देयर ओ मैन डोंट वरी योर एनिमीज यस सर देयर आर मेनी एनिमीज व्हाट कैन आई आई एम गिविंग माय आर्मी टू ओह अच्छा वन लिटिल जस्ट हां हां लुक हाउ हां ब्यूटीफुली दे विल पुट हिम इनटू ट्रबल इट इज अ वेरी गुड सर आई वाज वेटिंग फॉर द कार ओ मैन मेरे रहते हुए तेरा पाल है ना हिंदी डायलॉग नेल सर व्हाट शैल आई डू डोंट वरी कीप वन माय मैन इनटू योर कोट द व्हाई ही इज एन एक्सपर्ट ही विल एडवाइज यू द ठीक है इट्स ओके एंड सर द आर्मी का खर्चा भी तुझे ही देना पड़ेगा द व्हाई बिकॉज़ आई एम गिविंग द आर्मी सो इट इज फॉर योर प्रोटेक्शन ही सेड इट्स ओके इंस्टेड ऑफ लूजिंग माय किंगडम from my enemy so initially it was going very happy happy jolly jolly ah <laughs> jolly jolly me happy he said the person who was sitting next to his minister he was doing the work of a spy you know what in my spy a detective he is going to sign an agreement yesterday he has spoken to so and so minister this is going to happen and this is the right time you should attack The news is going to whom? To the British. Somebody in another class asked me, "Sir, how could he understand Hindi?" I said, "Hey, who is going Hindi? He is going to India. 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 it is not protecting him it is safeguarding him so when the british is born he will be put into the jail and british will take over the kingdom some people ask me sir what if well what if i rejected this subsidiary alliance nahi chahiye mujhe wo bol raha hai daring kar raha hai please wala nahi chahiye come on into the open field what is that open field war between the british and the people थिंक ओ माई गॉड मैं तो एनिमी के लिए प्रोटेक्शन मांग रहा था उससे भी बड़ा एनिमी मेरे पास आया सो इन बोथ द केसेस टू से किंगडम्स आर अनेक्स्ट अंडर दी समझ में आया वॉट इज दिस डॉक्टर ऑफ लैप्स मेनी इंडियन हाँ वन करेक्ट इफ ही डजेंट हैव इज ओन सन After his death, the kingdom will not pass to our adopted son. The in Indian princes asked why. So anyway, you don't have your own son. So under our rule, why the government is going to some other person? So there was this Peshwa Bajira, and a Nana Sahib, Nana Sahib, and the son is only Bajira. And then we have this Rani Jassi. Can you hear me? In fact, she fought a bit fierce battle against whom? Against the British. But ultimately, she died. And Panipat, that is the place. Here also, it is a directly forcing by the government of London. What is that? Either you accept the doctrine of lapse. If you don't accept, no problem. After your death, by hook or crook, the government is taking. Hmm. Uh, he can adopt this and say that it's not adopted. It's my son. <laughs> yeah, same question. But let me tell you one thing very clear. If you, as a normal citizen of India, you do one small thing without telling the neighbor, neighbor is the first person to tell you everyone. Only my cows can be my cow. Why? Anna, he is the king. How will he? Kahi na kahi to news milega hi na. And to be very frank. जितना स्ट्रॉन्ग स्पाई इंडियंस का नहीं था उससे भी डबल स्ट्रॉन्ग ब्रिटिश का था 
before he is even thinking of adopting the british will say oh man you have signed the doctrine of lapse as long as alive you enjoy your life and after your perishal the kingdom will coolly pass to you like the wife rani jassi or any other reverter they have to fight and do you think they have the proper material and manpower to fight against such a east india company so doctrine of lapse then there is something called as uh, what do you call it outright wars so they have given anglo mysore war anglo maratha war there were certain other kingdoms they were neither brought under doctrine of lapse not brought under subsidiary so they said we will love to fight and perish so british in bola i will love to cut you into pieces hai <laughs> na agar aap apne dost se bolte hai what is that hindi dialogue sar jhuka nahi sakta sar kata sakta theek hai acha waise bhi mere paas bahut time hai acha kaat ke deta hu so this anglo mysore was it is the tipu sultan and the descendants correct and anglo maratha was nobody knows what it is bajira uh, peshwa right time tha these were de facto ruler de facto unchallenged but company really banned them left and right correct so due to this reason also which causes we are talking the political causes so people who were under this rule they were unhappy they were not liking the rule so they wanted to fight so they joined the revolt samajh mein aaya now read all this three heading from the volume itself and then tell me whatever i have explained it is all there and if you wish that i should mark the points that also i do but at least here we will not write correct eh? a union parliament test is put done you will receive your marks so you attempted paper easy little hard why that little hard okay the last question was which was the last question in that that is where the disciplinary function of the speaker ha to kya kiya it was on board na so and so it is good na what you have learned at this eh? you understand what is disciplinary function where you can take action on the person ha remember you said ma Uh, he can be punished, suspend. Ah, uh, I mean, discipline means that like your teacher takes in your school same. I mean, I explain that, is it? So how many points did you write me? And you? Okay, let the paper come. You want me to discuss that paper also with you? Uh, not today. Maybe some other day we'll discuss. Okay. ये सब ब्रेक में करने का रीड द हेडिंग नो नो नॉट फॉर मी लेकिन वो भी बोला जाए
So all the three points, whatever I've explained. Any queries? Now look at the next heading what they've given. It is uh, on the disrespect shown, achha, on the uh, pretext of alleged misrule. How many you read at the heading, misrule? On the pretext of alleged misrule. Hmm. They said the, we have signed an agreement. You have to keep paying the taxes and we will not interfere into your admin. But did they do so? I mean, you two are princely states. I come in between saying, saying what? You are incapable. You are unable to rule. Who are you to interfere? It is my kingdom and my people. If the people says it's okay, but what the British will say, we are worried for the revenue. Anna, you are unable to collect the tax. In your in your town, there are one lakh people living, and hardly ten thousand people are paying the tax. So what they will say? Your rule is what? Not efficient. Your administration is not strong. So either you pay the full tax to us or you leave the administration. If not, fight with me. Correct. Uh, carry on. This caused resentment among the Indian in general and Awad in particular. Awad, Awad, what to you? What is that Awad, Awad? Yeah, Awad Garga Kunsa Kingdom. Awad. He was also reading like that of me. Lord Dalhousie justified the annexation of Awadh on the pretext of the good of the government. Mm. But the people of Awadh, on the contrary, had to pay more hardships. They had to pay higher land revenue and additional taxes on food, houses, berries, and justice. Mm. The dissolution of the Nawab of Awadh's army and administration threw thousands of nobles, officials, and soldiers out of jobs. Now the king is removed, administration is taken away. So whoever served under king, do you think the Britishers are going to take them? Why? They will put their own men. But these people will go away. They were jobless. They will join the whom? Revolters. As if you two are employed very busily with a king, I remove the king and you are also jobless. Well, let us give the allegation of fight man. Because if him only we lost our jobs, so whoever have been thrown out of the job, they joined whom? The revolted community. Samaj maya, carry on. The British Congress, uh, the dissolution of the, the British Congress created the estates of the Talukdars and the Zabindars. Ah. The discourses Talukdars became the opponents of the British rule. Mm. The company sepoys of whom 75,000 were from the world mm. were the worst affected. These soldiers had helped the British to conquer the rest of India, but they did not like that their homeland should come under the foreign state. Hmm. The annexation of power also affected the soldiers' financial position. They had to pay higher taxes on the land. Uh, so if you are not giving the government to me, I take your government in my hand. And what the British will do? For capturing your kingdom, I had spent so much army. I had spent so much money. So who need to pay? You need to pay. Even if you need an army, you need to pay. Even if I attack you, you need to pay. Even if I take over your kingdom, you need to pay. 
So British is worrying for only what? The taxes. British is worrying for only the revenue. Carry on. This is by Shon to Bahadur Shah. Bahadur Shah's uncle, the Mughal ruler, was under the protection of the company and received a pension from the British. Hmm. In 1849, Lord Dalhousie announced the, that successors of Bahadur Shah's uncle would not be permitted to use the red fort as a palace. Mm. They were Underline that. He would not use the red fort as a palace. And what the Bahadur Shah's descendants will say, oh, this is our royal palace and this belongs to whom? Our ancestors. Who are you two? In fact, Bahadur Shah himself was not a powerful ruler. Next to? Bahadur Shah is next to. Hmm. Both of you get the answer, then only I'll proceed. Bahadur Shah was next to which Mughal ruler? Find out, find out. See that now. Oh, the lady. Yeah. Hmm. Marathas and Mughals ka kya jugal bandi hai? Nana Sahib is a Maratha leader. Hmm. You know who founded Mughal dynasty in India? Who? Baba. And who was the last established ruler? Bahadur Shah. Uske pehle kon tha? Bahadur Shah was not very powerful. Allah Kilji. Kilji I came Mughal dynasty. He was Aurangzeeb. Write down in your notebook somewhere there only. Aurangzeeb was the last powerful Mughal ruler. Your other madam used to chair to sit here. She was standing and explaining what it is. No, no, no. Your other picture will be lecture. She was sitting in a chair or standing. They, these corporate people did not give us a chair also. She was sitting there and explaining. Yeah. Like, nah, I get like, okay, bench for some little time. And I, because only two students said, what we can do? Office like chair, we can try It is like Baba, Humayu, Jahangir, Shah Jahan, and Aurangzeb, Badur Shah. And there is one Zakat or Zaimat Karke Koyaiga. Who Badur Shah ka baat karunda. Tikka? Ah, Iyadrako. So who is the founder? And who is the last ruler? Aurangzeb. Aurangzeb, powerful ruler. Uske baat Badur Shah was weak. And Bahadur ka jo dusra tha, wo tha aur bhi Bahadur nikla. Hai na? Chalo. So is this point clear? And there are one more points, I think. Disrespect shown to Bahadur Shah we have done. Then treatment given to Nana. Ah, there are two points are remaining. Ah, you want to read? Ah, finish it up, finish it up. They were required to ship to a place near the Kutsa Banar. Hmm. In 1856, Lord Canning announced that after the death of Bahadur Shah, his successors would not be allowed to use the interior. Nackles with their names and would be known as mere princes. Hmm. Uh, this decision of the British hurt the feelings of the Muslims consequently being a part of the wife of Bahadur Shah against plotting against them. The wife also tried to plot against, but do you think they can defeat the British? Hindi mein kabul the achha achha ne pani piya. Wife kya kare? We are the greatest woman leader like Rani of Jhansi. What's her name? Lakshmi Bai. Did she fight till her last breath? Yes. But was it successful? So now let us get into the two other headings. I'll just explain, then you can. Uh, one is this Nana Sahib and Rani Lakshmi Bai. I mean, Nana Sahib was given the pensions initially. And then after him, it was Bajirao. 
he was not even given pension after few years or neither he was respected for uh, uh, peshwa and then we have this rani lakshmi bai she fought against which policy which policy they do not have the son what was her policy name doctrine of laps as long as her husband was alive the kingdom was with her she did not pay any uh, heed to the doctrine so she had to fight a bit of war in fact if you remember there were many poems written on her hai na hindi mein bhi hai na khub ladi mastani thi wo to jaasi wali rani thi means even today if you listen to that poems and the lines it shows that what a courage this lady has shown today what courage we show so does her exams ke liye courage bhi <laughs> if i ask you to fight wars ab wars wo to hum log har roz ladta hai na wala kaun sa war lad raha hai 7:30 ka morning is coming it's a war he came to the late or early ke late ha theek hai aap bolte ki humko british se ladne ka parliamentary means se to ud jao it shows that simple courage that one thing they have said that we will never say yes to the british if you don't know what is all this i think the present war between two european powers what is that hey the present war ah every lecture i make people to talk on that what is that russia and ukraine you feel which one is a hero russia or ukraine i don't think russia it is ukraine so small and not it doesn't have any stand in front of russia neither military nor economy nor area wise nor the power nothing but is it fighting till the last blood mm. in fact many people said few weeks some people said few days still the war is no end is so i don't know i was teaching in other board uh, where i was saying the wars are not fought with the weapons weapons are generally hai weapons ke hath se to ladega nahi but wars are fought with the courage hai na wars are fought with never ending spirit wo kya bolta hai hindi mein mera blood ka last khatra tak beh de raha hai to thoda sa jab kat gaya to gar jata fir kya last khatra but means we are not at all afraid by the enemy so this is what who has shown rani lakshmi bai Suddenly read that, and then we'll say absentee of sovereignty on the British, and then I'll ask you to write these headings one by one. Ah, uh, sir, what we adopted some of that zero mm. in the last page. Mm. The British refused to grant Nana Sahib the pension. They were taking to Bajirao. So he is the son of Nana uh, Bajirao too, and the pension that Dad was getting, the son was stopped. Okay. Mm. सीकिंग हेल्प parts of the country for generating uh, awareness among the indians about the british policies rani lakshmi bai of chansi who became the witch came on the doctrine of france became a leader and the king of the british as her adopted son was not accepted as her heir to the kingdom okay now read the next point uh, i'll explain once if i say the word sovereignty we understand only one today we india is a sovereign country Uh, how do you say india must be ruled by indians are we having all leaders indians only or we have any foreign leaders coming and ruling india no britishers did not follow this policy at all what is that sovereignty they knew it that we have no we are not the local we are not the native prince neither we are the citizen but did they not rule over india this says that absentee of sovereignty on part of whom <coughs> on the part of british yes you read now absentee of 
एबसेंटी ऑफ है क्या ओनली सॉवरेंटी है हाँ ठीक है ऑफ द ब्रिटिश हाँ चलेगा so is the england also close to uh, india i don't know what standing for will do kya ho gaya tujhe not well sir well which well pani wala ya no pani wala chalo kya kiya underline drain to england and not utilize for their welfare and you tell me out of these five or six headings which heading you want me to give or is it easy for you to write the answer i know easy bolega either is ko samajh mein nahi aa raha absent of sovereignty so write down that in your note others ek kaam karo till where you have to go first point is what policy of expansion pehla wo likho chalo write in your own sentences simple short sentences pull this bench and put here as if it is a bench only hai yeah, na the whole time she was sitting here only jo jo kuch hai ma'am acha mujhe acha nahi lagta aisa let me pull the side राइट सिंपल शॉर्ट सेंटेंसेस एंड यू नीड माई हेल्प आई एम रेडी the entire para i'm going to give absentee sovereignty schools reopening by 1st june 5th so hopefully then evening time won't be a trouble na ya us time pe kuch late aayega because once the school reopens uh, it will be evening timing only and morning what time to what time school 7:30 to 12 ha from 8 o'clock to 2:30 2:30 and yours 3 both are uh, which school you are sign tick tick let's proceed
you. Uh, ek kaam karta Instead of making you wait or I'm remaining silent, let us write that point first. Absentee sovereignty of the British. That's what you find it difficult, correct? Shall I give it in simple points? I'll write down that. Point number one. British rule in India. British rule in India lacked British rule in India lacked the basic concept of sovereignty. Basic concept of sovereignty. Next. Second point. Complete negligence or complete neglect of the sovereignty principle complete neglect of the sovereignty principle added to the existing added to the existing anger of Indians against the British to the anger of Indians against the Britishers. Samaj Mahara. Are you understanding? Next. So then. The sovereignty principle was one of the important reasons which added to the which added to the existing woes, woes, you understand woes, problems. And increased the outrage. Okay, what is the meaning of the outrage? Can you use the word uh, anger? Yes. Ah, deep anger. Huh? against the British in India. Hmm. Write the next point quickly. Now tell me which point you want me to give besides this. All points are easy. Write only one point and leave the space. Then we'll go ahead with the next. Any one point.
write the next heading. You have written all the points, is it? You have written all the points. Yes. All. All. I'm there are so many points, and <laughs> okay. Now get into social religious causes. Social religious causes. Write the intro for that. British administration introduced British administration introduced several reforms British administration introduced several reforms which directly which directly showed indulgences or you write interferences into the existing religious beliefs of Indians. Full stop. Some of them are right one interference with the social customs. I mean, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give it in points like abolition of sati, widow remarriage, only the years and the date. Uh, the uh, It is there in the volume, interference with social customs. And then wait, wait, don't write. Under that, you write on abolition of sati, 1829. Then you write widow remarriage act, 1856. Then opening up of Western education. Opening up of Western education to women and to widow, uh, to girls and to widow women. Now let me explain this all one by one. Yeah. Year not given, leave it. Now who knows what is Sati? Husband died, well, female should also die. But how she has to die? By giving fire. Oh my God. Walking into the fire. Normally it is not so easy. A man or a whoever it is dead, putting into fire, it is okay. But imagine a alive person is made to tie on the fire and made her to what kind of cries will be. But I don't know, the Orthodox Hindus believe this was right because anyway, life after the death of the husband was considered to be hell only. Why? She was asked to shave the head. Only white clothes, sari, whatever. Sari, that also only white, pure. No ornaments, nothing. And inside one room of the house, not even she can come to other rooms. And unless and until she does not die, she has to follow this typical pattern. So was it a life of living hell? So some Indian justified, aise marne se achha, aise mar. So I will say, usko aata ki tu baitna, chalte be fire mein. Is it so easy? So if I tell you that Raja Ram Mohan Roy was main pioneer, correct? And Lord William Bentick was a governor general. When this was done, Indians felt, why Britishers are interfering? Was it correct or was it wrong by, done by the Britishers? It was correct. This is an inhuman practice, but not like by whom? The Indians. Look at the next one, it is widows. Everybody knows who are widows. In those days, the girls used to get married at an early age of 9, 10. 
even below 12 unfortunately the boy to whom that girl is married dies unfortunately a girl from right from 9 years or 10 years till she dies will be a widow you understand who is a widow Maybe at the tender age of 9 or 10, she might not understand what is a marriage first. Forget about understanding what is a widow. But both were forced on her. So, British said, a girl of such a young age has a life long. Correct, Anna? So, let her get married. So, which act was passed? Widow remarriage. Again, today, if we discuss that topic, we say it is perfectly correct, sir. Let the girl get married. But in those days, again, interference. The next I feel this girl education, even today is a concept where few parents do not understand. I'm talking in cities. So, if the government is asking, let the girl child get educated. Let the widow or let the women also get educated. You know, what was the general mentality? Women means inside the house, men means outside the house. What? Working. If the government is passing such laws that you must get educated, do you think the local people will like it? So these people did not like the interference and they were waiting for a chance to fight against the British. Is it okay? Then put the next heading in your notebook, policy of racial discrimination. And if I explain this, Britishers even today call themselves to be a higher race. What does higher race mean? That we Indians are nothing in front of them. They will treat more like that we are rats, we are misers, and we are vermins. You know what are vermins? If you think that we are of a lower race, then why are you sitting in our country? Will you not ask? And do, do you think Indians have the guts to ask to a British fellow? So this racial superiority, or I can tell you where Indians were you know, mistreated at every stage of their life, they felt, why are we ruling under them? Let me get an opportunity to, to overthrow the British. So these people also joined. And next, if I explain Christian missionaries, don't write, don't write. Now, from the London or from England, a group called CMCs used to come to India. What are CMCs? Anybody? What are CMCs? Christian Missionary Commission. Every three months, every six months, a group of nuns. You know what are nuns? Group of pastors, group of you know clergymen, all belonging to the church. So what they are coming here to do? To educate? To educate? No. To remove the poverty? No. Only to spread Christianity. When you are following your religion and he is following your religion, I am trying to come up with my own religion. I am saying your religion is not good. Also, sir, why, sir? What is there in it? You come to my religion, I will give you a bungalow. Man, I'll give you a better job in British administration. Acha? He's a little bit in a mood to change. And he said, Don't worry. You are not treated properly by Brahmins. Anna? Brahmins are the bitter enemy. And why Brahmins are treating you like this? Even I'm also thinking. So you want to fight against the injustice? Yes, sir, I'm trying to kill him. Why do you kill him? Leave him. You come to my religion. 
this sir what will i get benefit what benefit there is no upper class no lower class you are all my class only and i am your class and on the top your monthly ration money is taken care by me do you think we'll slowly will leave this so this is what we call brainwashing do you understand what is brainwashing i'll try to keep and hit those points where you are little bit vulnerable what is vulnerable where it is okay but in the dukti rakt you know dukti rakt that's the right word so by this the government had made it only one thing that christian missionary ka main kaam kya hai spread christianity now write this heading in your notebook let me see racial discrimination and cmc looking at the book only try to combine the points join one line and then tell me where do you need my explanation Many points could be right. If you want to, we switch up the AC for some time. What do you need it? Switch it up. Huh? It's really getting into my eyes and pain. So let's switch up. Now, if you need it, let's switch it up. Huh? Let's switch it up for some time. But can you? Switches are here. Here. Ah, uh, careful. Uh. and the noise quality improves and are you understanding this way of explanation when you are writing like this also it's okay pakka don't take it very lightly this is very important part of your geography uh, geography for your history Now tell me, out of that, where you need my notes, or where you can write on your own. So this map should. Uh, which chapter she is doing in? Geography, soils, climate. Okay. 
at least looking at this india map time and again you will come to know all the seven states <laughs> are you able to see brahmaputra okay now let us get into our history so we have done point number racial discrimination missionaries now taxing the religious places now if i explain one simple line today also you go to all religious places if it is within india you need to pay hardly 10 rupees 20 rupees or 50 rupees but if it is outside india you need to pay the ticket and the... but what the britishers did neither hindus nor muslims if they are moving from outside their towns and cities maybe 100 or 200 rupees in those days and people ask me what is this there is a pilgrimage tax and why are you maintaining this tax in order to maintain such a big environment or cleaning and everything even now also i have gone some places where you are asked to pay hardly miracle se 10 rupees hi rehta usse zyada nahi rehta and for you and me 10 rupees is nothing sir dono sir kya farak padta indirectly they said you do not come to such places where you are where you are paying heavy tax we 100 rupees in those days is close to 10000 today so they are discouraging which practices religious practices visiting the pilgrimage you understand pilgrimage and can you name any pilgrimage now in india ha huh? kashi rameshwaram and for them idhar idhar tum log india ke andar kidhar hai ajmer hai na ajmer ajmer gaye ki nahi ajmer is in way aj rajasthan it's very important dargah is it one of the dargah if i want to say it about in mumbai we have it way ajeli ha ajeli so what ha huh? antirupati balaji now i am saying there are so many But do you think government of India is charging you so high rupees? No, sir. Only payment, going and coming, and little bit of staying, and hardly many girls are ten, twenty rupees. Rega. But what the Britishers have indirectly told the Indians: if you want to visit the pilgrimage, no issues. But then you need to pay the extra tax. It was the tax called as pilgrimage tax. Now look at the next one. It is apprehension about modern innovations. Uh, in fact, the other boy asked me. now this is the time we have this telegraph lines coming railways coming you know what are telegraphs if i want to explain telegraphs it's very simple uh, not like telephone not like telephone there was a small instrument or an app like and a mouse you understand mouse a small holder will be there and she will be tapping it when she is tapping it there are some electronic medium through wire the message will be carried and the person who is going to receive the message will have a what do you call it an electronic board and whatever she is typing that message will be going on ah something like that you know old movies you might have seen for this they put in various telegraph poles you know poles simply some people in india said these poles are make indians to hang in the poles understood what i am saying matlab these poles are aapko british government latkane wala hai So that was the fear in the minds of whom? The Indians. How about railways? Railways are not where you need to help the Indians, but to whom? The Britishers. But again, there is a fear in the minds of the Indians. Might be Indians might be crushed by these running trains or what? I mean, we haven't seen trains for any time. अपने पास कौन सा गाड़ी रहता था? सर टू व्हीलर हमला कौन सा बुलक काट और मे बी हॉर्स काट है ना बट नेवर वी हैव सीन ट्रेन इंजन सर एंड अभी हम लोग को लगता है क्या सर ट्रेन से आप डरते हैं क्या नहीं नहीं डरता है बट मेरा डैड का डैड डैड डरता था क्योंकि उसने कभी जिंदगी में वो व्हाट इज दैट स्टीम ना व्हिच इज कमिंग एंड इट इज रनिंग विद अ ग्रेट स्पीड ओ माय गॉड व्हाट इज दिस मशीन British mind used to, you know, hit the entire people. Ab itna bolta hai. There was a movie, I think, not now, or some earlier Hindi movie only, where a man from village doesn't enters into a lift. Was a man he aega? Was a kyun he aega? Mister, kis se aega? Ye jo machine hai na, 
इसके पहले दस लोग अंदर गए पूरा सब लोग को खा गया बेचारे तो अंदर गए बट रिटर्न आई ही नहीं बेचारा ये देख रहा था लगता लिफ्ट लेके गया और आते समय लिफ्ट खा लिया है तो तो नहीं नहीं आई विल नॉट कम इट विल सोलो मी ऑल्सो अब इट इज इग्नोरेंस ऑफ द विलेज बोलते चलो आओ नहीं नहीं आऊंगा अरे कौन सा फ्लोर आने काट रहा बट चल के आऊंगा बट मैं लिफ्ट में नहीं आऊंगा अब इग्नोरेंस है बट देन दैट वाज आल्सो कंसीडर्ड टू बी अ डेंजरस सिग्नल सो जस्ट रीड दैट टेलीग्राफ लाइंस एंड रेलवे लाइंस आई यू रीड इट इमेजिन वॉट कूड आर दिक्चर माइंड बी ओ माइ गॉड This is they have not seen it. I saw it. I said, "Acha." And they were doing it because they need many poles. So, in a pole, me, maybe, maybe, many people will get lost. Correct. Next one. Similarly, the Orthodox Indians noted that in the railway compartment, the higher class and the lower class were made to sit by sit side by side. Mm. They believe that the British had introduced this practice to defy their class. Hmm. Now, if you buy the tickets, you can board the train. Is the ticket for a higher caste and the lower caste two separate? So they said when I am traveling with a person who is below my caste, sitting just next to me, one because he has bought a, he has bought a ticket. In future, what might happen? The caste system will come to an end. In future, what will the people say? Oh, boy, आपके साथ तो बैठ के मैं ट्रेन में आ रहा था. तो भी तो मेरे बाजू में बैठा है बोलेगा सो तो नो हाई क्लास नो लो क्लास वी आर ऑल सेम क्लास बोला कौन सा क्लास सेकंड क्लास टिकट लिया है चुपचाप बैठ अभी है ना आज वो तुम्हारे साथ ट्रेन में बैठ के आएगा मे बी द नेक्स्ट टाइम यू मीट इम इन द सोसाइटी ही विल सिट इन द चेयर वेयर यू आर ऑल्सो सिटिंग वॉट ई विल गिव द एक्सप्लेनेशन क्या साहब भूल गया क्या हम लोग ट्रेन में एक साथ गए था ना मुझे गया था इंडियन ऑर्थोडॉक्स पीपल नेक्स्ट लाइन मॉलिस They saw in it an attempt to discourage traditional Islamic and Hindu studies. It's very simple to tell you. When he is learning his Islamic scriptures, I give him English books. When you are trying to learn Vedas, I am give you English books. वाला बंद करो दोनों. लेकिन क्यों? English is a rich book. You learn English, you work for British. You learn English, I you can travel abroad. You learn your Vedic scriptures and Islamic nothing. So both the community people thought, "Oh, he's attacking our what? Religion? He's attacking my language." So this the people were not liking it. And British, eh? Will they leave them alone? They were forcing them. And this forced conversion or forced acceptance of which education? Western education. People made ready to join the which community? The revolters. How many points we have done? This entire heading is done. You only write the subheading. One more. Ah, uh, law property. Ah, uh, people started suspecting the aim of the Western education was not to promote literature and sciences, but to encourage the children to become Christians. Become Christians. Hmm. Law property. The religious disabilities of uh, the religious disabilities act of 1850 changed the Hindu law of property. 
it enabled a convert from Hinduism to other religions to inherit their property of his funds. The Hindus regarded this as an incentive to give up funds. Yes. You go Larka Kamata Gine Kamata Paladarka property Kapura details like a clerk. Maybe Aga Jaki Tanai Bolega, Dad Zaptake property is kept. Uskeba? Subkuch made. But then now the British have come up with a new one. If you want your ancestor property or your dad's property, you need to be converted into converted into a Christian. If not, that property will go to whom? The government. So if you are not eating the you know table like this, yeah, they are putting you around the neck and making you to push into your brain. What is that? Get converted into Christianism. So at least some Indians, no sir, all Indians were ready. Why? Sir, dad ka property I say nahi milta hai. Correct that? Chaliye, let us write all this. Write the heading and write two lines. Write the heading, write only one or two lines. Using the volume only. And then tell me. While writing you face any difficulties or problems, we will tackle that also. Twelve thirty is a break or twelve forty five? Twelve thirty is a break and twelve forty five is restart. Just a minute, just a minute. Yes. So you take your break first. And let me also come after the break and we'll continue the class. Okay. Thank you. Okay, what is the total strength of this class again? Three only. Or I remember four. Two boys and that girl. And what was her name? Yeah. Take it. I'll come back. And what are the equals or anything you just finish it? Have it. And switch on the AC also if you want. Thank you. 